All right, in this video, we're going to be palpating pectoralis major, and I'm going to be palpating three heads of pectoralis major. Now, this may be contrary to some texts. However, I'm going to be going through three manual muscle tests and three length positions, so I'd like to go through uh, pectoralis majors having three heads. So we're going to be talking about the clavicular head, we'll be talking about the sternal head, and down towards the bottom we have the abdominal head. So I'm going to start off with pectoralis major's origins. So I'm going to start by having my partner bring their arm out to the side and then hold their arm up in the air a little bit. So you can already see the beginning attachment here of his clavicular head of pectoralis major, which is attaching to the medial half or so of the clavicle, which I'm running along. And then there's usually a bit of an indentation here or fascial separation before it starts attaching to its sternal head. So I have him resisting a little bit of flexion and adduction so he can push up into me and again you can get a little bit more of that fiber definition. The second attachment is going to be along the sternal head. So there's two parts to this. One it goes all the way down the body of the sternum as well as a little bit of the maneuvering up here at the top. And then second to that, it attaches to the costal cartilages of ribs one through seven. So I'm just gonna count that out. Here's the clavicle directly underneath it, costal cartilage of rib one. Below that, costal cartilage of rib two, in line with the sternal angle here. Costal cartilage of three, four, five, and then six and seven often start to blend together. So I'm gonna switch, leaving my fingers on five, and I'm gonna walk up the bottom costal cartilage, which is seven, and that meets at the xiphoid process here, and six and seven often blend together. So it might get extremely tricky to try and feel the difference we have between six and seven costal cartilage at the sternum. So we have an attachment all the way down along the center here, and then that costal cartilage of five, six, and seven blends out into what some refer to as the abdominal attachment, which goes into the abdominal aponeurosis. So abdominal aponeurosis is a covering over top of your abdominal muscles and an attachment for your obliques. So if we bring the arm up above the head, I'm gonna ask my partner to try to bring his arm down and across, giving him some resistance here. We can see a tightening up happening through this lower edge of pec. And then if he was to do a little bit of a crunch for us at the same time, good, engaging the abdominal muscles, that makes a connection into our pectoralis major fibers. So we have origin, origin, and origin. All of these fibers are going to be running lateral, and in some cases superior, towards the lateral lip of the bicipital groove of our humerus. So again, I'm going to have him hold his arm up in the air and I'm going to be using a pincher grasp to try to grasp as much of that belly as I can, sticking my thumb up in the axilla. I'm gonna switch my hands here just for effect so I can lengthen the muscle out. And I'm gonna follow that all the way up until it inserts on our humerus. He's gonna relax his arm down and I can strum back and forth right at that attachment and you will typically feel the long head of the biceps tendon. So our pectoralis major is going just over top of that long head, inserting on that lateral lip of the bicipital groove, or otherwise known as intertubercular sulcus of the humerus here. It's quite a wide attachment. So again, you can see the lowest part here and the upper part there, making this almost a couple inches long. So pectoralis major has quite a few fibers. We're just gonna review them quickly towards the end here. For our clavicular fibers, it's going to be doing some flexion, medial rotation, and adduction, or horizontal adduction, if you'd like to call it that. The sternal fibers primarily do horizontal adduction, or flexion, bringing the arm straight across the body. And our lower fibers, or abdominal fibers, are going to bring the arm from a flexed position into an extended position, but also medially rotate and adduct. So we're going to be using those actions coming up in the manual muscle test video. That's going to conclude our palpation of pectoralis major.